My girlfriend Louise is uh, stuck in Germany and unable to come back unless she pays a fee to the German government. I've been in a relationship with Louise for about 10 months. We met on a dating site. She had all the traits that I was looking for in a girlfriend. Honesty, trustworthiness, God-fearing. Louise and I communicate almost exclusively on a daily basis via text messages. After finishing text, I can't wait for the my phone to ding to find out what's happening in her life. Louise is supervisor for a construction company that's building a shopping mall for the German government. Our relationship has been a series of roller coasters. The first time she tried to come to visit me, I waited at the airport at the baggage claim area for two hours with two dozen roses, and uh, she never showed up. Louise was detained at the airport because her visa had expired. Another time, she was suspected of espionage. Then her work contract was suspended because she didn't pay union wages. I have sent her money to help her at each of these stages. She would need 20,000, 30,000, or 50,000. Over the course of the many months, the various problems that she has had has resulted in, in me sending her approximately $150,000. These 10 months made me feel helpless. I've depleted the funds that I have. We have talked about getting married, but I have never seen or spoken to her. I can't wait for her to be here so that we can show the family that she is real and our love is true. Okay, now before we talk about Louise, let me talk about you a little bit. Okay. Um, First off, you were married for 51 years? 51 years, yes. Wow, I've been married 42. I feel like a kid now <laughs> that you've been married 51. Uh, and you lost your wife three years ago? Yes, uh, she had Lewy body dementia. Okay, well, I'm very sorry for your loss. After 51 years, that has to feel like part of you died, right? Yes, absolutely. And um, so when she first passed away, um, you obviously grieved her loss and felt a, a real emptiness in your life, right? Yes, absolutely. And how long was it before you decided that you wanted to fill that, that emptiness? You, of course, you never replace her, but you wanted to fill it in some way. While we were, uh, while she was still coherent, uh, we talked about what's gonna happen after I die because Lewy body dementia is an insidious disease that just right. progresses. And uh, she encouraged me to date after uh, she passed away. Right. And uh, so after three years, I decided to pursue that, that, that approach. Mm -hmm. and, and now you're in this relationship with Louise, but before you met Louise, you met another woman. Yes. And you got into a relationship with her, right? Yes, and a short relationship. Did you get serious with her? It was getting a little serious, yes. Uh -huh. Did you ask her to marry you? Yes, I did. And what happened to that relationship? Uh, she said no because uh, she was a perfectionist, and uh, I, I guess I'm not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, I didn't fit in with her, her, the way she wanted her future to go. Uh -huh. Where did you meet her? Uh, we both uh, volunteered at a resale shop. Uh -huh. uh, for our church, right? And I met her through that. Okay. And uh, was that a letdown when she didn't want to uh, get married, or were you okay with that? Initially, it was a letdown, but in retrospect, it was probably the the correct approach, right? Based on her her life and mine. Are you? Is she still in your world? Are you st still friends, or we left for, on a friendly basis? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay, and then you meet Louise. So she's the second woman you've had a serious commitment to. Yes. Okay, and tell me what makes her so special. We were sort of kindred spirits. Uh -huh. um, her initial profile uh, were, was all the things that I was looking for uh, in, a, in a wife, in a woman, in a companion. And uh, I guess she picked up on all of my likes and dislikes also, and, and I think we're a very good match as far as our lives together. But she fell for you pretty quick. Yeah, I guess I fell for her pretty quick also. It, uh, right. it, it was, seemed like a very good match. 